Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, trying to figure out exactly what is going on. Go deep in the video edit. GB hits us up for a chance at redemption. For some reason, the team we lost to round one got forfeited. Hmm. Is TK back? That's sharp tweet. Uh, we're going over to Drift SMD, so I don't expect to see many bomb plants this round. Or ever. But uh, we'll see you rue it. Gonna be uh, carrying that bomb. I'm trying to get exactly caught up on what's going on with them. Yeah, trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, we've seen Drift for a few days now, Ben. Uh, not too many bomb plants on this map. Looks like Ruizo, he's going to be going for that plant over at A right away. And I'm kind of shocked that they're able to get this one down, which kind of shows SB not really too familiar with this map as uh, those bomb sites fairly easy to defend. It's going to be Ruiz's last one alive, though, here for Enigma. He's going to have bomb down, but does not look good as it's the 3v1. Oh, going to get one, going to get two. He's trying to stay alive. He clutches this. Oh, oh, TK is in fact back in the tournament, so. Dito able to win that one at the end. Able to put SB up 1-0 rounds here. Gonna have three kills. Somebody actually tweeted me that Enigma actually knocked out uh, SB yesterday from the 2K. And this is their first match. That's 5K? They out here performing like this? All right. I feel it. I respect it. But yeah, TK definitely back in the the tournament. So, a little bit of redemption from them. You reckon they'll make a run now? Uh, probably. Probably? You sound so upset by that. They're like the best team left. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I, I so, see. we haven't seen Enigma slash Onslaught, which Enigma is their new name. They were Onslaught. Uh, they've been winning a lot of their uh, games, but this is their, they haven't been playing in 2Ks and 5Ks, so that's why? why we haven't seen them. That's so weird. And that's why their seed is so low. But why would you not play in 2Ks and 5Ks? And then, uh, get this, somebody tells me that uh, they won a Detroit 10K LAN, and in uplink, they run the ball using shields and overclock. No, they don't. I swear to God. Do you mean overcharge? I, I, I want what do you mean overclock? The guy wrote over clock, but it has to be. Yeah, either. Um, it could be either. I mean, they could run double exos. Yeah, that would be. I w I want this to end right here, so we can watch. Well, is drift? I'm sorry. Is that thing going to be game three or game two? I don't know, but we need to. I all right. So I kind of hope for that reason SB win this, just to guarantee that we see an doubling. If it's game three or four. Yeah. That would be disgusting. I'm with it. I'm down. I like seeing unique stuff. Oh, game three is up playing. So this is the, uh, also looks like this is uh, this is their first time playing drift, I think. Really? Yep. I just went to one of their players' uh, twitters, and he was like, "Yeah, I have no idea what's going on." <laughs> so you're seeing SB. They should be able to take this map. If you lose to a team who's never played drift S and D before, that's when you need to really think about stuff. I have the team TK is playing. Uh, they don't have drift installed. TK was like, well, you're going to forfeit the map then because we need to practice it. Nice. Um, I like that move out of TK. Forfeit them. I mean, I don't think they want to. They ultimately want to play it. It's practice for champs, but, I mean. Good they're back point. in the tournament with Redemption. So Enigma on the offensive. Actually, no, they're going to be on the defensive. Sorry, they're going to have to figure out some kind of strategy that works as they have never played this before. They don't know where to look. And you can tell Fizz are able to pick up General at the start of the game. That pre-snipe. It's going to be a working over on A for SB. Nestle's going to be able to pick up one. They should be able to get bombed down over here, but it looks like Nestle is going to push straight through. Yeah, try and pick up the Just get bombed down. One simply point. does not plant the bomb in Drift, man. Come on. No, for some you reason, everyone. Yeah, nobody likes to plant the bomb in this one. We'll have a look at M. Ruiz. Holes. Sugar business uh, should be able to close out this SD. I'd be amazed if they don't. You'd expect them to. I mean, SB, a very talented SD team. And the fact that Enigma doesn't seem like they know what's going on in this map uh, would lead you to believe this is going to be a 1-1 best five series between these two teams. Yes. 
I want to see it in this uplink game. Um, just so everyone knows, we'll be giving away the scuff and draw gift card after this series. Uh, we have the next one to go through. Uh, SB was arguing hardcore before the map started, but that calmed me down and winning rounds now, apparently. Just not really with the intel. Well, you'd expect that out of SB. I mean, you know, they lose the map, they kind of argue a bit. That's kind of what they're all about. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, this is a this is a good map for them to just kind of get everything out because it, it seems like it's a little bit of a gimme, the, the sandbag that Enigma doesn't have. I mean, they don't know where the players are even coming from. You can see they're just looking everywhere. Yeah. Although, but at this point, you have to know Drift. I mean, we know what's in the rotation. You should be watching it. You should be, you should be watching it. it. You should be playing it. There's no reason to not be prepared on this map. Yeah, you can't really use it as an excuse. Right. At this point, at least. You know, it's free to download now as well, right? Yes. So it's like, well, really don't have a choice. <laughs> or an issue when it's free. It I mean, you do have a choice. I mean, I mean, just a a dumb cho one. choice was the wrong word. It was, it was more you really can't complain. All right. Um, it's free download. Download that thing. I think here it's going to be that avalanche coming in on that A side of the map. I'm curious to see how Kate's going to play it. I think he's just going to run. Dito's going to get first blood. I feel like. Enigma after that first round really haven't had anything go their way. They've been struggling really bad after that. Oh, back over to uh, Nessa on the attacking side. Has bomb in hand. Good to see how many of the pro teams have really been practicing drift. SB look to have some sort of knowledge of it, at least. Better than what we've seen previously. Right. I mean, we've seen a few teams. Uh, when we did the Pro League the other night, it was the first time we've seen teams play this map. They seemed a little bit lost. I uh, didn't know where to go or what was going on. But SB seems to have a little bit better of an idea. Oh, Nesla, going to win that second round. Yep. Last one alive. He's going to be taken out. Enigma going to get another round on the board. So if Enigma can mount a comeback here, this series is over. Oh, I highly doubt it. But I'm just going to throw that out there. That Enigma could take this next turn. Don't be silly. Then they would go back on another defensive side, and then they'd have a good chance to tie it up. Just saying. This round's huge. Because SB, they can go obviously one round away from winning, and then uh, on the flip side, Enigma can get back on the defensive side, only down one round. Good chance if they play correctly, they should be able to make that comeback. And uh, on your screen, I believe it's going to be Neslo. He's going to be pushed up towards that A bomb site, but you see how Enigma is playing it. It's very slow over towards that B side of the map. I think B is a very hard site to push because there's so many different you know, alleyways and just angles you can play in there that you have to check every corner and it's extremely difficult to break in. Okay, well, that runs over. And Enigma not able to win it, so 5-2. Yeah, that was a round they needed to get, and I don't think that going B was the correct answer. I think they should have probably went A. B, as I was just saying, it's so difficult to get in. I mean, if you get up to that middle glass area uh, on that B side, though, you can see that A bomb site through the wall. It's a good spot for somebody to plant and then kind of watch it from there. Haven't seen too many teams really try and do that yet, uh, although it's a pretty difficult position to get to without you know at least fighting one or two players. So but, powerful, though. But it is a power position on the map, 100%. 5-2 then, in favor of SB, they go to the attack side once again. That's going to be Nezlo carrying your bump for first blood to come in from Fizzup. And it does with the sniper rifle. Immediately Nezlo trying to trade that kill on the left hand side. It was Dito that fell. Nezlo missing a lot of shots there. And that player from Enigma is going to escape. Yep, it's going to be Nezlo with the bomb on your screen. It looks like they're going to try and rotate through middle of the map over towards B. Enigma should be able to play pretty easy defense over here at B. You see so many different spots you have to check over here at the bomb site. There's a player directly above Neslo. He's able to pick up one, but you see. I feel like the bomb site should be outside. That. I feel like the bomb site should somewhat be like here. I would say a little bit further. Just, back. I, I feel like the where it is right now is just way too chaotic. It's it's almost impossible to get in there and right. get bombed down. It's ridiculous. Uh, you would have to you have to get like really lucky on a rotation over from A 
that a guy is going to rotate out of B to go play A to really have a chance over at B. That's kind of how I feel about it. I wonder if they've... I think your best chance on this map is to play really slow and just try and get a pick over on that A side. Like and how slow? Like really, really slow? Yes. Well, I mean, just look at the map as a whole. I mean, that left-hand side, you know, teams, they like to sniper or they like to put one player back there. If you're... If you're uh, Enigma, you can just push this guy in the back left. If you take him out, you have control over most of the map at that point. The Brewers looking to just try and stay alive. John snipes Cade. Uh, strictly business now, just two well, kills gonna, away. They, they didn't push that guy. You either have to outsnipe him or you need to push him. Because if you go that way and you show all four players that way, SB, they're going to rotate right away. You see SB, as it, they're just rotating all four of them at the same area. Yeah, and they're just flooding areas. You're not going to be able to win doing what Enigma did there. And uh, SB going to be able to tie this one up at one map apiece. Okay, so 1-1 one, one in the quarterfinal. We are going to see a uplink game number three. So curious to see if uh, we do see shields. Yeah. Uplink from Enigma. That'd be awesome. Because Strictly Business would have no idea how to right. react to that. Um, so be prepared for something crazy like that as well. We'll get you updates as to quadrant number two. Face Black versus TR. That game still going on. For now, though, quick commercial break. Be right back.